As more students and teachers moved their class loads online, it became critical for us to find a way not only to scale to meet that increased load, but to keep our costs down. And we've needed to adjust to our users' new usage patterns. And so those Graviton 3-based instances were able to help us uh, meet the increased load, keep costs down, not only for our web applications, but also for our database servers uh, and, and cache instances. The autonomous trucking space has such high volumes of data. They had all of their data and all of the compute power on-prem. So it was a big expensive system that sat in one location. And if they sent a vehicle to another area to drive, they would have to ship the data back, like physically ship drives back and try to load it onto the system. Having the data available in the way that we have it through a data lake created so many new capabilities. It, it made a big difference to, uh, I think every team, every team is using the data lake now. It helps everyone move faster and can focus a little bit more on the mission that they're trying to solve. When you look at latencies, there's actually really two parts of it because we'll build a VPN server. It sort of sits in the middle. The client talked to our VPN server and our server talked to whatever the destination is. Most industries, they care about the first leg, which is you know from, from the client, talking to your, your backend services. But for us, the second part is actually really, really more important because that's directly impact customer's experience. So we use AWS local zones to solve this problem by deploying our edge servers in those local zones. This allows uh, reduce the latency between our client to the uh, edge servers we deploy, and at the same time allows the customer traffic to enter into AWS network as quickly and as, as shortly as, as possible. After we deployed local zones, we saw about 60% reduction in uh, latency, up to 90% reduction in terms of distance between where the customer is to the first uh, VPN server hits. We use CloudFront for a multitude of things. Of course, we've got our standard VOD delivery and that's the bulk of our content. We also have an OTT platform and CloudFront is uh, critical in kind of the real-time delivery of that video. We also use it for things like our static asset delivery. We do authentication at the edge with Lambda at the edge. So really video is one of our largest cost drivers. So keeping our costs under control is essential and CloudFront allows us to do that. It allows us to continually scale as our business continues to scale, but keep our costs under control. We've been on AWS for a long time, and we're proud and honored to work really close with our account team and the product teams. It really has been a partnership over the years, um, and that's something we give a lot of value to moving ahead.